me, sport is a huge part of my identity in that it makes me feel normal. A huge part of becoming disabled or having an injury is that, that re-evaluation of self. And I do suffer from depression at times, um, and it's really hard. Like Sometimes you have those bad pain days, you don't want to leave the house because you feel like you're inconsequential, you're not worth it. And kayaking enables me to be actually like, no, I have something I can do that I'm good at, and that is my, like, my happy and safe space. People talk now of the concept of the blue gym. There is that evidence that uh, it's not just a physical exercise, but when you're in or near the water and you're exercising, it actually uh, helps your mental health as well. Being, being retired, I, I find it's the thing I just look forward to. It's just giving me a new outlook on life, really. It's just something, regular exercise is what I needed. Well, you're exercising and you're working hard, but it's very relaxing being on the water. Yeah, you can certainly come down here feeling very stressed after a hard day's work or just not just feeling tired and after you've been out there you feel so much better afterwards it's just it's an amazing sport i think one of the highlights for me actually uh, is the exploring and uh, so you get different perspectives of places on the water you see different things and um, it's when you see your first kingfisher on the water it's just so beautiful and you're just like i can't believe like Mother Nature has created these incredible rapids, incredible waves, and incredible holes to play in. And look at this beauty around me too. So it's a pretty special place. I don't do this for the adrenaline, I do this for the friendships and fun and, and basically exploring places which you, you'll never see if you're on land. It's, it's a great feeling. Some, sometimes you're absolutely terrified and you, you, you don't know what to do with yourself. There's a river in the Lake District which we absolutely adore. There's three brilliant drops on it and it's when you're at the top of that drop and looking down of where, you, where you're going to go, it's, it's a phenomenal feeling. If I felt I couldn't canoe again, I, I'd be, I think, a very, a very sad uh, person. I think I'm much the same. I wouldn't know what to do with myself. I'd be very depressed as well, I think. There's no chance of stopping me kayaking. I, I love kayaking so much, and, and if, if kayaking is stopped, it's just going to be devastating. Any sport on land is, is nothing compared to kayaking. <laughs> I've actually planned some operations around the, the winter season for kayaking just because I want to kayak before I go through all the surgery. I think it's important to showcase that it doesn't matter whether you're old, young, able-bodied, disabled, like everyone can do something like this.